Yeah. What is going on, guys? It's Cody Red here. Welcome back to another IntelliJ video. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to use IntelliJ with Maven and NMS. If you don't know what NMS is, it stands for net.minecraft.server. It is an import to use methods and different objects that is not in the Spigot API. Basically, if you are coding something that you cannot do with the Spigot API, you use NMS to get around it. I have some videos going over some awesome things that I use NMS for. Go ahead and check them out in the advanced series. But in this episode, we're just talking about how to set up your IntelliJ so you can code NMS with Maven. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and run build tools. I have a lot of videos about this. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to go over it real quick. If you are using Linux or Mac, I'm going to leave this link in the description below and you will have to follow different instructions. But if you are running Windows, it is really easy. Instead of reading through all of this, I'm going to show you guys the best way of doing it. And is just copying this batch file right here. This batch command is really awesome. It goes ahead and it builds it for you and it lets you input the version you want to build. So if you were building 1.17, you can just type in 1.17 and I'll go ahead and run the 1.17 for you. So what we're going to do is go ahead and copy this right here. Go to your file explorer and we're going to create a new build tools location. The location does matter. You're not able to run build tools in OneDrive or Dropbox. So go ahead and find a spot that you won't have Dropbox or uh, OneDrive located. So I'm going ahead and just create it in the users, Chris, and I'm going to right click in here, create a new folder. I'm gonna call this folder Spigot Build Tools. Inside this folder, I'm gonna create a new text document called Build Tools, and we're gonna change this to dot bat. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus, and I'm going to paste in what we just copied. I'm not going to go through this much, but if you are using Git, there is a little signing thing you can do right here. Let's go ahead and put your email in there. So it signs for your account instead of just the build tools account. But with this inside of your folder, you can go ahead and save it and then double click it to run. But when you start it up, You'll see you have to enter a version. I'm going to go ahead and build the 1.17. Actually, I'll just build 1.17 because I already have 1.17.1 built. So I'm going to build 1.17. You see it's starting to download from the GitHub repository. Like I said, this will take a little bit to run. Let's go ahead and if it does get paused like this, you can press a key on your keyboard and it'll start back up. While this is running, I'm going to go ahead and open up IntelliJ. If you haven't checked out my IntelliJ video, go ahead and check it out. It does go over all the basics of IntelliJ and how to run it. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and start a project. Once Build Tools is complete, you'll see that I created a folder for you guys with all the necessary files and folders that you need to run Build Tools. So with that done, we can go ahead and close that folder out and we'll go into our project. So this is the project for my last IntelliJ video. I'm not going to code anything special. I'm just going to show you guys how to set it up with Maven. Scroll down to your dependencies right here. And this is the 1.17 dependency for our Spigot API. It is super simple to change it from Spigot API to Spigot API and NMS. All you have to do is remove the API part. Now, if you do get a red underline here, that means you haven't built the 1.17 Maven dependencies that you that we just did with build tools. So there's a few ways to check and I'll show you guys later on how to check if you built it or not. But once you change it just to Spigot, zoom in for you guys, we change it just to Spigot right here, the artifact ID, go ahead and reload Maven. And now it's in your project to you go ahead and test. I'm going to go to enable real quick and just type in entity player and you'll see net.minecraft.server. And that our import is working. There it is. If this isn't working for you, there's a few things you can go ahead and check to see if you have the right things installed. To know where this is right here, this spigot uh, Maven 1.17, we can go ahead and go to this PC, go to your hard drive, go to users, your user, 
and then go to the m the dot m2 folder inside here repository we're going to look for org spigot and then here is the spigot api that we used to use and here is spigot just for the nms and as you can see we have our nms version installed so if you haven't run the build tools this would not be in here you wouldn't be able to use it and that's why you're getting an error so you have to run build tools to build that maven dependency for the spigot nms before in this video i want to talk about minis mapping viewer this is an awesome website to decompile the spigot nms and understand what certain objects or methods actually do so you know that dot a stands for the player connection or something like that. The first thing you are going to want to do is turn on the dark mode because the light mode is absolutely terrible. And then go to Spigot to Mojang. Inside here, it'll let you select what version of Minecraft you want to use. As of right now, 1.17 is not here, but it will be added soon. I'm gonna go ahead and use 1.16.4. This website sometimes has some loading issues. If you ever experience loading issues, try refreshing or visit the site later. But for example, I'm gonna type in an enum just to view some different enumerators here. And here we can view that H right here for the enum armor material. H stands for health per slot, I stands for name, and all these variables stand for something else. So when we're coding with NMS, we're able to say .k and know that that means slot protections. This website, in addition to decompiling the spigot jar and viewing the class, helps you really understand how to code an NMS and lets you create some awesome things. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment below what you guys want to see next. I do have more series on the way. I have a beginner series, an advanced series, and also a mini game series coming soon. I obviously just need to code it and make sure it's perfect for you guys. See you guys in the next video.